Well, we've already launched work on the fifth assessment report and it would obviously be an update of science. Uh, there's a lot of new knowledge which is emerging. There are also some new areas that we're going to look at and particularly some new areas of emphasis. For instance, we would be looking at much greater regional detail on the impacts of climate change. Uh, we would look at uh, the effect of aerosols and clouds in the whole climate science uh, equation. Uh, on the mitigation side, we're going to look at uh, issues of sustainable development, equity, ethics, and certainly focus a little more on the economics and social science aspects of climate change. And I hope overall we can move this report uh, in the direction of looking at what it might do to human society. Well, you know, as far as Australia is concerned, there is a lot of research that's in hand. You've got some outstanding scientists. There's a lot of research on all aspects of climate change. So I expect we'll be able to enhance our knowledge of what's going to happen to Australia, New Zealand, and that part of the world. It's very difficult to, uh, to predict what's going to come out in the report. But certainly it will advance our knowledge on what's happening. And I expect there's been a fair amount of publication on, let's say, the droughts that you've had, the impacts of climate change on Australia. So all of that, if it's been published, will be taken into account in our report. Well, my message would be that you've got to do more. You've got to work more intensively in communicating the message of science. And I think youth are the most, uh, what should I say, the most qualified to spread the message, simply because your future is at stake. And I think uh, people listen to young people, uh, even adults. You know, it's your parents, your relations, the friends of your parents. I think if you sensitize them on the reality of climate change, I think the youth of the world can really bring about a major silent revolution, if I may say so. I would tell the youth of Australia, keep at it, do more, and uh, just remain dedicated to this task. Because in a democracy, there's nothing more powerful than spreading information about the truth. So just spread the truth, let people understand, and I think things will happen.